Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am at a campground and boy oh boy, is this an awesome one here in Arkansas. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, but first, let's go drive around. Now, if you're like me, you absolutely love that Arkansas, the natural state, likes to recycle. If you go to any one of their visitor centers, you'll find different things about what they do with the things that they recycle, including making benches, tables, and other things that you find in the parks themselves. I even saw one park that used their recycling bin and uh, ended up making new playground equipment. So they have tons of these all around Daisy that you're going to want to seek out before you leave the park. Now, Daisy State Park is absolutely awesome. If you're wanting to come out and get on the lake, this might be the park for you. And there's a variety of different styles of camping that you can do while you're here in the park. For example, these huge tent pads behind me are from walk-in sites. They have tons of parking at the top of the hill and then you can walk down with your things or bring one of those little, you know, the little wagons and bring everything down to your campsite. On the top of the hill up here, we have some really, really nice RV sites that have both water and electrical. And there is a really nice state-of-the-art bathroom up at the top of the hill. But, What's the benefit of staying down here in these hiking sites? Access to the lake. You are literally right on the lake right here, guys. And a short walk through this campground right over here, and you're at the boat ramp. So if you're a person who has a boat that you wanna bring out, you can walk straight from your campsite over to your boat and get on the water. But let's pace out about how far these tent sites actually are. They're huge guys and they're in a perfect square. Now for reference point I wear like a seven and a half in shoes so each one of my steps has to be about to here to be one foot. So here we go. Okay, you saw it with your own two eyes. It is a 12 by 12 square approximately. So that is a massive size for a tent. That means that you could have an individual or a very large group and wow, wow, oh wow. And each one of the sites comes standard with a picnic table and a fire ring in addition to a lantern hook. And all of the sites here do have grills. Something to note at this lower campground, there's no electricity down here, so that's not an option. However, they do have shared water spigots. They're like every like two or three along the way. But this, this is what it's really about. Look at how beautiful this view is. And it just goes on and on and on. And over by the campground, they have these wonderful water stations as well as a water bottle refill station right here next to the restrooms. And these restrooms right here are amazing. They are so nice. We might have to go take a peek. 
Okay, so over here we have the actual toilets. And as you can see, they're individually in little stalls. Okay, cool, just standard, right? But here, as we follow these hooks, you actually get into the shower area. And these showers are very, very nice. They are free showers, there's no coins here. And then they have a dressing bench right inside. And the water has amazing pressure. And furthermore, guys, if you come into this one right here with me, this is actually the handicap stall and they have a bench right here and all of this space. So there's plenty of room so that you can get in here and easily access everything that you need. In addition, there's actually a seat also. So this is quickly adding up to be on my top list here in Arkansas. And of course, if, you know, you have the sink. Cool, we need a sink. Now, before I close out the video, I do wanna show you this right here. This actually shows you a little bit more about the park and the different camping areas. Right now, we are in camping area B. So we're right here. These were those walk-in tent sites that we saw a while ago. And these are all of the wonderful electrical hookup sites right here. Now, if you go up to camping area A, it's basically an echo of camping area B down here where we are. And right in between the two, you have the dump station, which is available and very easy to access. And in addition to those, they do have a walk-in loop D and a camping area E, which are also seasonally available. They have some really nice waterfronts over there too, but basically it's the same as the one that I've shown you over here, just a little different configuration. But that's not all that Daisy State Park has to offer. First off, let's talk about what they have for the kiddos. They have a really nice playground here that's kind of central to all of the different camping areas, super easy to access with just a quick walk. And in addition to that, they do have a basketball court and a nice open field so you could play soccer or football or just enjoy some time running around. Now, obviously this isn't designed for someone like myself to get on. However, it looks super fun. Like, I really want to do this thing that looks kind of like a swing. Let's go see. Let's go see what it does. Here we go. What does this do? Oh, it just, it just kind of bounces. Oh, oh, I could have seen me having a lot of fun with this. Wait for it. I found something I think I can do. I think I can totally cross over on this. Yes! Now guys, look at this one. This one is super cool. It is a rock wall by day and a tent by night. Although I will have to say, yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna get much coverage in there, guys. It's, it's pretty wide open. Like, look at this. Whoop, opening. Yeah, we won't be camping in that. If you're looking for an adventure, Daisy State Park has you covered. They have lots of different outdoor activities that you can partake in, including hiking, and lake activities. Now, one of the things I really like to do when I personally get out is go for a little hikey poo. And this does not disappoint. There are several different trails here and all of them kind of meander through this beautiful forest of craziness. There's twists and turns and so many cool things. Now, I am here currently in the earliest part of spring, so you're just now getting to see a few of the little blooms starting to come out. But during the later spring and summer this place is gorgeous it is breathtaking so like this trail right here is actually a cycling trail you can also hike it though however you better be ready for a difficult one because this is 18 miles now this one starts right up here as you first enter the park and meanders and winds all the way down to Kirby Landing Wow now, not all 18 of those miles are actually in the park. 12 of those are actually outside of the park, but still maintained by the Corps of Engineers. So the standard of care to this trail is awesome. There's another trail that does go through here as well. And you can see the difference whenever you look at the little blazes that are placed on the trees. You can find these easily throughout the park. And that way you don't get off into something that you're not supposed to be on. 
So you guys, we're at the yellow and the blue trail and they both go this way. But if you don't think you can go the full 18 miles, there are a few other options a little deeper into the park. You can find these marked in a similar fashion with blazes on the trees. For example, this one is marked right here by yellow and blue. Others are marked with different colors. So they're very easy to find and I encourage you to do that whenever you come. Last but not least, if you're interested in doing any of the water activities but you don't have a boat of your own, you can actually do some rentals here in the park through the visitor center. They have kayaks, tandems, water boards, things like that, and their prices range between $9 for a single hour to $30 for a full day of use, depending on the craft that you choose. So tons of different options. I hope you have enjoyed coming with me today to Daisy State Park here in Arkansas. If you have, make sure that you leave a like on this video, hit the subscribe, and check out my campgrounds playlist. I have tons of other really cool places that you might want to go across the United States. It's definitely the place to be if you like camping, if you know what I mean. Till next time, guys. Bye!